Okay, this is a quick tutorial on uh, how I did the uh, the dancing tiger. I just bought a uh, stuffed animal. I bought this guy at uh, Target for a buck fifty, and then I added uh, servo motors. I added two standard size servo motors. You can get those for about uh, ten to fifteen dollars. I just do an online search for. Um, servo motor and then I also used two of these small micro sized servos I use the small micro sized because it uh, on the arms it makes it a little more hidden uh, and if they use the kind of the large ones here it's easier to spot those motors it doesn't really matter the concept is the same I uh, started by building this little wooden frame out of some plywood and I sized it uh, to hold these two servo motors and I spaced it so that these uh, motors would just kind of be captured and held inside of there and then I've got this little cross piece where I mount um, the smaller servo motors for the arms. I'm going to show a quick close-up of this. So you can see here's the small small size servo motor and I just mount it with a, a screw here into the wood and that holds that motor in place and then I put some uh, this wire here on here to hold it in place a little better and there's a piece of wire that goes off the servo horn into his arm so when the arm is the servo moves his, uh, it moves his arm uh, similarly, this servo motor here up here on the top has a wire that goes to his head. And when the servo turns, that's how you get the tilting of the head. There's another servo down here in the bottom. This is a little bit indecent, but uh, sorry, Tiger. Uh, this servo has a wire. Uh, and that wire extends up into just kind of around his tail there, and that's what gives the the hip motion. Uh, and the way you do all this stuff is you just take a piece of uh, stiff wire like this. I bought this at uh, Home Depot. I think it's like three, four dollars, something like that. Uh, it's 16 gauge wire. Uh, and you can just real quickly take a pair of pliers and you can either cut it or if you want you can do this this old this old fashioned method of bending it back and forth until the wire breaks. Then you take the wire and you just on this other end down here. You need to have it uh, in two places. There we go. And that's just a real quick way of getting a getting the servo motor to do your work for you. This wire is fairly stiff. You can see I can go upside down. That wire out of the way there. Same thing on the small servo horn. Should come with this little uh, what they call a servo horn. Uh, you'll you may have to you know take a a nail or something and make these holes uh, a little bigger so that you can stick the wire into it. But you end up with the same thing. I had to put. You can see there's a screw right here and a piece of wire and that holds him in place so that as the motor moves the hip his foot stays in place otherwise he would his whole body would shift and you want his 
feet to stay in place. That's how you get the, the hip motion. So, small servo on each arm. Right. A servo for the hips, servo for the head. And then I take an aardvark. And I start plugging in my various motors. On the app, just turn on all of your servos. And when you move the slider control, you get motion on the motor.